Hey everybody, welcome to the Jaden Stitches Show. It's time for a crochet quick fix. So let's grab our hooks, grab our yarn, head on over to the craft table, and let's stitch it up together. This quick little pattern makes a really cute apple or pumpkin, depending on what you feel you're in the mood for. I've made this one in cotton, Cotton makes a great coaster because it will not melt if it comes into contact with heat. And cotton yarn also absorbs moisture, which is great if your glass has a bit of condensation on it. My pumpkin is made out of acrylic because this would be a perfect little applique for an existing project, like a blanket or a sweater or maybe a hat. I've used acrylic because a lot of my other projects are made out of acrylic, but if your current project that looks like it needs a little pumpkin applique is made in cotton or wool, then make the applique using the same fiber so that it moves with the rest of your project when you wash it. I've used red for the apple, orange for the pumpkin, and a little bit of brown for the stem. You don't need very much yarn, maybe 15 grams for the base of the fruit and a very small amount for the stem. I'm going to demonstrate the red for the apple today and I'm using cotton. This is a worsted weight size 4 medium yarn. We're going to use a 5.5 millimeter hook or an I9 in the US, also known as a 5 in the UK. You need a pair of scissors and a yarn needle and once you've got all that together we can get started. We're going to begin with a cinch circle. Once you've chained one to secure your circle, chain two more. You want a total of three chains. And then we're going to work 12 double crochet into that circle. Remember to work over your short tail because that is what we're going to cinch it shut with when we're done. Once you have 12 double crochet worked into your circle that does not include the chain three, grab your short tail, cinch it up nice and tight. You're gonna skip over top of the chain three and join with a slip stitch to the top of the first real double crochet. Chain three for row two. We're going to double crochet into the same stitches joining, which is this little place right here. And now you're going to work two double crochet into each stitch all the way around. Once you've worked two double crochet into each stitch all the way around, we're not going to chart them um, to count our chain three. So what we're going to do is double crochet once into the false stitch. So once you did all sort of 12 stitches, you probably wound up with this one left over. You're going to work one double crochet into that, what we call the false stitch. And then we're going to skip over top of the chain three and join with a slip stitch to the top of the first real double crochet. So you'll still have 24 double crochet in total, but that chain three will not count. It kind of gets pushed to the back and it makes a nice solid circle. Row three, we're going to chain one. We're going to single crochet into the same stitch as joining. So a little single crochet. And now a double crochet into the same stitch. And then a double crochet into the stitch after that. So that's a little bit out of the ordinary. And now we're going to do a little repeater that we're going to repeat five times. So two double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet once into the next stitch. So repeat that little 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one pattern five times in total. If you're counting stitches, it'll be your 18th stitch that you end on. So our single crochet counts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You're going to repeat that little 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one until you get to the, your 18th stitch. It'll be right opposite the one you started with. All right. In row three, we're halfway done. You should have a single double to start, followed by a double crochet, and then five sets of two double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the stitch after that. So two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. So five times on that little repeat. That brings us up to the space opposite where we started, and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch, nice and tight. Make that a nice, tight little slip stitch. And then we're going to double crochet into the same place. So you might want to get your thumbs in there 
So a slip stitch and a double crochet all worked into the same stitch. It's a bit tight, a little funny, but there you have it. A slip stitch and a double worked into the same stitch. Double crochet once into the next stitch, and then you're going to do that little 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one repeater all the way back to the beginning. Two double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet once into the stitch after that. Repeat the 2-1, two, 2-1, one, two, one, all the way back to the beginning. Once you're back to the beginning, you should see that little false stitch and the single crochet that we made to begin. You're going to skip over the false stitch and join with a slip stitch to that first single crochet we began the row with. So nice, simple little slip stitch there. There we go. And that's it for the apple, or the pumpkin, if you're making it in orange. Snip your yarn. We're going to fasten off nice and tight. Make that nice and tight. Flip it so that you're looking at the back side. Grab your yarn needle, and now you're just going to weave in your ends across the underside of some of those stitches. Make sure you weave it back and forth a couple times because you want to make sure that it doesn't unravel and you might want to pull tightly so that you pull that little indent down into the rest of your apple or your pumpkin. Once you're all woven in, grab your brown. We're going to make our stem now. We're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. Pick up your apple or your pumpkin and where you fastened off, just beneath it, you're going to hook your hook right in there. Join with a slip stitch right inside that space. So underneath where you fastened off. And then you're going to chain four. You've got four chains. Skip the first chain from the hook, find the second one and single crochet into it. and single crochet into each of the next two. So you're single crocheting back to the beginning. Once you've single crocheted into each of those three chains, you're going to slip stitch back into the same place that you joined your brown yarn with. And that's it. Grab your scissors, fasten off, You're going to pull that nice and tight. You're going to pull both of your little short tails to the back. Feel free to <laughs> yank on that little stem a little bit. And then you're just going to weave your tails in up the back of your little stem piece. You can do them one at a time and you can run them through the same stitches. You don't have to weave them back and forth because these probably are not going to unravel. But if you feel that your yarn is a little on the slippery side, then feel free to weave them back and forth a couple times. That's perfectly all right. Then you're just going to trim. And there you go. One little apple. Great for a coaster if it's made in cotton or two. <laughs> make it an orange, and you've got a pumpkin. I hope you enjoyed today's little crochet quick fix, and it'll keep you going until we see you soon here on the Jade and Stitches Show. Thanks so much for popping in, guys. Have a great week. Bye. Please visit our shop and purchase a pattern. It helps support our show, and we'll put a link to our shop in the description box down below.